A farm prepares for winter. Sleep Tight Farm by Eugenie Doyle. The December days shorten and darken. We are busy putting the farm to bed. <clears throat> With our crops mostly in, strawberries, raspberries, vegetables, honey, and hay, now is the time to prepare for deep frost, the coming wind and snow. Many hands make work light, Mom says. We shake straw over berry plants to blanket them from winter's frosty bite. Next April and May, they'll leaf out green and blossom white. In June, they'll give fruit, so red and juicy will make jam and freeze berries to eat till, win till summer comes again. We lick our lips remembering. Good night, strawberries, covered with straw. We cut cal and chard and broccoli. We saw down tree like Brussels sprout stems. We dig for the last carrots, beets, and potatoes to add to those stored in the barn. There they await winter markets and our own winter meals. Above in the hayloft a mountain of harvested hay bales stands ready to sell. The fields rest brown and bare. Dad tills and plants a cover of oats and rye to protect and replenish the fields that gave us so much. Good night, fields, peaceful and still. Dad cuts back the raspberries before wind and snow can crack the canes. We cart the old brush to burn. Goodbye to last year's twigs and leaves with their bugs and spots. The promise of last summer's plump fruit lies in roots tucked underground. Good night, raspberries, resting below. <coughs> we stack wood by the house and in the sugar house too. It will heat our home all winter and in early spring it will fuel the fire that boils maple sap into syrup. <coughs> Good night, stacked wood, waiting to work. Before the winter winds come howling, we secure the hoop house's plastic sides with ropes and bales of hay. Inside we float sheets of white cloth over the baby greens till the New Year's, the New Year's thaw. Safe under cover rest little leaves with mouth-filling names. Spinach, Mizuna, Tatsoi, Arugula. Our winter salad greens will nap till stronger sun can wake them. Last August, the hoop house grew so hot, we rolled up the sides and flung open the doors while picking tomatoes, melons, and heat-loving okra. Now we button up the perfect shelter for changing weather. Good night, hoop house, wrapped up tight.
We board up chinks in the coop, chicken coop and set a timer to give the hens the light they need to lay eggs all winter. We fluff the nests with hay, plug in the water heater, scoop fresh grain. We collect the day's eggs, fragile gifts from our friends. Good night, chickens, snug in your coop. With bales of hay, we build a windbreak for the beehives and place a stone on each lid to hold it firm. We make the hive's entrances smaller to keep roaming field mice out. Within each hive, a single bee lies in a cluster of maids working to keep her fed. In September, we harvested honey and wax but left enough for the bees, who made enough for us. Good night, bees, sheltered and safe. The farm stand is stocked for the holidays with fresh eggs, greens and roots, onions and garlic braids, decorative corn, honey and maple syrup. There's plenty for us and plenty to sell. Mom and Dad move planter, cultivator, tiller, and baler into the equipment shed, a shelter from rust and cold. The tractors go in last. Good night, farm. The fire jumps in the wood stove. We feast on homegrown trees, treats, vegetable soup, and berry pie. We pull clinking lights from a box, untangle, tangle, to hang on the porch. Look, Mom says, the rising moon, the bright sway of stars in the sky. We light beeswax candles to soften the longest night. The farm is ready for down quilts of snow and the shh of the wind. Dad tucks us in. Good night, farmers. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, farm. The end.